And my name is uh, Lars Moravi. I'm the Vice President of Vehicle Engineering at Tesla Motors. A lot of people love crossovers, and they love crossovers for the right reasons. There's a lot of storage, there, there's a lot of utility, and I think what we wanted to try to do when we made the Model Y was sort of take that notion and just blow it up. Our cars have always had great range and great dynamics. In the Model Y, we actually added what we call off-road mode which is a little bit of that brake torque vectoring to like on steroids. Maybe you're doing a little bit of river rocking and, and one wheel gets off the ground. We clamp that down and the other three put torque forward so you still keep moving. And that's something that gives the Model Y a capability that you might not otherwise get in a pretty sporty crossover SUV. At Tesla, we always started a first principles approach. You don't get to say, well, we've done that for 50 years, so that's the way we're gonna do it for the next 50. You have to prove everything you're doing from the ground up with you know, first principles of physics and mechanics, and, and really that's our boundary. It's like, what does physics say is the envelope? And that, that's as far as we'll take things. There's been a lot of talk about the rear casting and how cool it is and what it does, but one of the problems when you make big pieces of aluminum is that they warp when you heat treat them. Well, with Model Y, we actually invented our own alloy that is able to achieve super high levels of strength and durability. So that saves money, costs, energy, because we don't have to heat treat it with these giant ovens. But more importantly, keeps the part straight and that means we don't have to machine the whole thing. From an engineering geek out standpoint, that's like one of the coolest parts of the thing is like, yeah, you can look at it and say, okay, they replaced a hundred parts with, with one or two, but really the, the alloy and the, the material development on that was super special um, because we wouldn't have been able to do that without it. At Tesla, we've always tried to constantly improve our products. Then to integrate all the functionality that you have in a typical crossover is something that's super important. So the cargo space in the rear, the additional cargo space in the front, fold flat seats that give you this wide open area if you need to do it, the towing that we have on the back end, all of that combined and then saying, you know what, it's still gonna be a Tesla when you drive it. People that like to be dynamic, they're gonna love it. People that wanna sit up high and see the road, they're gonna love it. People that have a family and need the storage space, they're gonna love it. Every car we build, every new product we make, I wanna take it a step further. I wanna make people's understanding of what an EV can be and what a product is, make it a part of your life, a part of your experience. Ultimately, it, it results in a product people love, and that's when you know you've hit the right point of vehicle engineering.